Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm doing some project shares with you. I have been inspired by some paper crafters that I wanted to make sure that you knew about. This is from Paper Milkshakes Cut Apart Challenge. She had the idea to create these fun little fold books where you can just stitch a piece of vinyl or something across the back and decorate up these little cut up hearts from the All Heart collection. So I took her inspiration and I actually came up with a new way of doing the same sort of idea, but actually it folds out vertically like this. And it's basically all I did was I, I cut two strips down of the um, 12 by 12 paper and then I glued it together and I'm trying to remember here it is there there's where I glued it together on this part right here so this was one strip of the paper and this was the second strip and then it just like folds up and you could do like a really neat sort of album like this and I just love each layer of this little book some of them are very simple and I just love the way that they all go together. There's a cute little look. This is my favorite way to do this count your lucky stars is to put those Chamel um, iridescent stars on there and then girls rule. So that was inspired by Paper Milkshake and she has a tutorial I will link down below so that you can see how she created these little cut aparts. And also inspired by Paper Milkshake are these cute little butterflies. It's such a simple idea to just take a piece of cardstock and then another piece of vellum or acetate or some special sort of paper that you can see through and just punch two butterflies together. I use this Martha Stewart punch and then you just use your tiny attacher and you staple the centers together and it just happens that the tiny attacher is the perfect size of the middle of this butterfly. I've even tried just using like this sort of different kind of material and layering them three ways. I much prefer it with the layer and then you can fluff up. I much prefer the layer that you can see through and you can fluff up this other layer here and you can see how I've used that on this project that I was sharing with you here. One of these little butterflies that uh, was inspired by paper milkshake. And I also wanted to share with you a new crafter I have discovered. Pink Strawberries has been inspiring me to create so many things. And actually, I'll bring in three things that I recently watched her tutorials. As soon as I see her tutorial, I literally run to the basement and, uh, <laughs> and, and start creating. I showed you this in my last video. I'll just give you a little peek through, but basically there's all these little boxes that you can open up, little flaps and um, little tuck spots that you can put things. And what I did was I created an envelope where um, this just goes inside of this vellum envelope. Um, one of the things I haven't shared with you yet, so she created these really neat little um, flip books and I haven't finished decorating these ones. This one's getting ready to go off to a pen pal So I thought I'll show you the three of them that I have um, done. So I did a little bit of different um, Things than she did. I put a little notch on each of the pockets and I glued in some vellum with the polka dots on there and then I tucked in all these different gifts of um, ephemera and these pieces again because I find them so useful to decorate with. I stitched around the entire edges of this one and uh, then I decorated on top here with some silver thread, some feathers, some cut up ours. This is like just little strips of sheets that I had laying around and um, I just stapled them together. They were just on my desk. I just ripped them, stapled them together, put them as little um, backing part there. I'll show you um, the insides of these ones I've done. This one I've done the little notch with a fun 
mylar uh, pink pearl paper and then again I've just stuck in some of these die cuts they lay nice and flat so they're really easy to um, to close and to send to like a flat mail pen pal and so that's why I haven't decorated this cover because if it's gonna go in a happy mail box I don't mind chunking it up and putting like some chipboard and stuff on the front but if I'm gonna send it off to a pen pal as flat mail which I think these ones probably will I will um, leave these undecorated for now until I know who they're going to I may even put their name on there and then I've gone and done the same thing here with the mylar notches and I've uh, tucked in some fun little uh, cut aparts for them and I've decorated this with all this iridescent like it just shines so much and again it's flat yet it has so much uh, level of interest because of all these different little tuck spots and all these different levels of pockets so she has a tutorial on how to create this and guys it is so simple you have to check that out if th that project interests you and then another project that I just absolutely adored <laughs> was this mini album another thing I have not finished creating it because I'm not sure who it's going to be for but I'm so inspired by her that I just run down to, <laughs> to my craft room and start creating with no idea of who it's going to I, I know it'll go to a, a pen pal and some happy mail but I just love the way it came together so the difference that I did for my album is I stitched together the um the covers and then um this is a little tuck spot that I've created here. You can add underneath. And this is the only page that I started to do. I was like just trying to think, do I want to keep things simple? And um, and I started sort of putting things together just on this first page, but I left all the other pages. And honestly, it is the easiest um, little mini album to create. And the thing that I love about it is the how little measuring there is because all you need is like a six by eight paper pad. You just fold the pages together and then you grab these little um, squares and um, score them down the middle. Or it's not squares, sorry, strips and uh, score them down the middle and glue them in place and voila, you have an album. I'm serious, it's really that easy. And then she had the idea to have a little pocket on the outside, like a little shaker pocket. I never would have thought to do this because I, I don't know, it's, it's such a neat little way to bind the edge. And um, yeah, it's super cute. So I love the way that turned out. And then I sealed the ribbon in, the um, in between two sheets of paper here and that adds a nice touch again. I, I stitched all around the back. And yeah, I'm excited to decorate it. So you're gonna have to check out Pink Strawberries and Paper Milkshake if you guys want to see some really inspirational girls because I absolutely am having so much fun. Every time I watch their channels, I just run to my craft room and wanna create the thing that they created. This one took me a while because I had to get and wait super long for all my all heart stuff to arrive. But I'm having so much fun with this collection. And um, yeah, I hope that you guys have uh, enjoyed this little project share and we will see you again next time.